Hello, my name is Jeff Sanders and I am a no-till expert working for the University of Vermont Extension in Northwestern Vermont. I'm here today to give you some common sense tips to implement a successful no-till system on your farm. These tips will help you minimize yield loss during the transition and successfully integrate manure and cover crops to maximize the environmental and economic benefits of no-till. Always make sure your planter is in tip-top shape when playing no-till. You are now relying on only one piece of equipment to do all the work, so don't skimp on preventative maintenance or the setup configuration of your planter. You need to make sure the planter is in proper condition. You should replace all the openers on the planter to ensure a consistent planting depth across the rows of the planter. The most important thing you can do is make sure that the closing system on your planter is working properly and covering the seed. Verify that the seed is getting covered by checking each row for seed depth and placement. You will need to do this repeatedly if field conditions change. You will need to make sure that the seed is placed at the proper depth. If the seed is not getting covered, you need to address whatever issue it is. Most often it is that the soil is too wet to plant in. At the field level, the most important key to success is make sure that your prospective field is in the right condition for the conversion to no-till. Make sure fertility levels are adequate and that the field is well drained. It is highly recommended that you do not select a field in continuous corn rotations to convert into no-till as organic matter levels and other soil health indicators will be diminished. Choose better suited lighter soils rather than heavier, poorer drained soils until you get the hang of it. The best situation for your first year no-till tilling is to take a field coming out of grass forage production, take the first cut off, and no-till into the hay stubble. Another important part of the no-till cropping system is cover crops. Cover crops can be used with no-till cropping to build synergy in the system. Cover crops help build soil health, improve water infiltration, and reduce compaction, while the no-till planting system minimizes damage to the soil, and together they add resiliency to the overall cropping system. Consider ways to get a cover crop planted and what species you want to use. There are several successful seeding methods, including interseeding with specialized equipment, the use of no-till drills, and broadcasting. In general, the better the soil to seed contact is, the better the plant will establish. The most popular species in the northeast is winter rye. This crop can be interseeded, pre-harvest, or planted after the crop has been taken off. Managing cover crops in the spring can often be a challenge. Winter rye grows fast under cool, wet springtime conditions. We have been experimenting with a roller crimper no-till technology where the cover crop is terminated and the main crop is planted simultaneously. Triticale is a fall cover crop that can be harvested for animal fodder and then you can use no-till right into the stubble. Again, choosing corn varieties that mature earlier so there's more time at the end of the season to establish your cover crop for feed is an important consideration and will add flexibility to your system. Incorporating manure into a no-till system can also be challenging. Some farmers are using manure injectors to place the manure in the soil with minimum soil disturbance. Injectors such as the VTI injectors shown in this video will inject manure into grass or corn fields with little soil disturbance and good result. Some farmers will plant their cover crops and then apply manure directly on top of the seeded cover crop. This works best when the cover crop is over 6 inches in height. High application rates on emergent seedlings will damage the young cover crops significantly. Some farmers are even now experimenting by putting manure on their cornfields with the corn growing in them up to about V4 with good results. This is mostly being done using drag line systems and digested manure. In conclusion, the implementation of a no-till cover cropping system that integrates manure and cover crops can help make your farm more profitable through reduced tillage costs, potentially lower fertilizer costs, improve resiliency, and potentially improve forage quality and quantity. What is important to understand that it is not just as simple as putting an implement in the ground that has no-till stamped on the decal. It involves a high level of management in which equipment, field level factors, associated agronomic practices, and contingency planning must all be evaluated and implemented to the best of your ability. If this is done, you will be successful. For more information about our work and the results from our research, please visit our website.